Isaiah 42, verse 3. A bruised reed he will not break, and a smoldering wick he will not snuff out. In faithfulness he will bring forth justice. Psalm 34, 18 through 19. The Lord is near the brokenhearted. He saves those crushed in spirit. One who is righteous has many adversities, but the Lord rescues him from them all. 2 Corinthians 12, verse 9. And he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I will rather boast in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Isaiah 63, verse 9. In all their suffering, he suffered and the angel of his presence saved them. He redeemed them because of his love and compassion. He lifted them up and carried them all the days of the past. Hebrews 4, verse 15. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize and understand our weaknesses and temptations, but one who has been tempted, knowing exactly how it feels to be human, in every respect as we are yet without committing any sin. Verse 16. Therefore, let us approach the throne of grace with boldness, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Psalm 23, verse 4. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. 2 Corinthians 4, 16-18 Therefore we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary aff afflictions are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Isaiah 53, 3-5 He was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering, familiar with pain. Like one from whom the people hide their faces, he was despised and we held him in low esteem. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. 